It is an incredibly proud day. And in the lower right corner, you're looking at Team Hoyt. That is Brian Lyons pushing Rick Hoyt in the wheelchair. Brian taking over for Dick Hoyt. But this team is a part of marathon history here and elsewhere, competing in Ironmans and certainly a crowd favorite. Brian looking up into the stands there. They truly have paved the way for other wheelchair racers, other teams like this. Rick asking his dad if they could get involved in this sport so they could participate in a charity race when he was just a boy. And from there, they got the fever and inspired so many other people. When they crossed this finish line on Boylston Street, and now they are just about a block away, this crowd is going to go crazy. And we should tell you, in part because of the weather, in part because of this race, the crowds here are energized. It is electric here. There's a wonderful feeling of celebration in Copley Square. And certainly for the people you see crossing the finish line with their arms outstretched, their hands up, taking it all in, a very special day in Boston. And we're going to stick with this live picture uh, because this is a picture we will remember. They move beyond the sign, telling people which way to finish, which chute to finish in. You see Brian there beginning to take it all in, and a smile breaks across his face. And quite an honor for him to be oh, pushing Red yes. Point, something that you know he really wanted to do, put his heart into it, and it enables this team to keep racing. Boston Marathon. Going the distance one more time, Team Hoyt. Brian getting a pat on the back there, stopping his watch, and now about to get a big hug. Yeah, Uda Pippick. Yeah, Uda Pippick, that was an interesting story, deciding that she would run on Saturday. She, that she would. I mean, is that, she's clearly in marathon shape, but that uh, that's something.